Well, it's breezy outside, but this has actually been the warmest it's been in over the last 10 to 15 days throughout the UP. 34 degrees at this moment, humidity of 59%, but those temperatures are on the balmier side. We've already seen one cold front slide through. This one's just really going to activate those winds. There's going to be a second cold front that's going to slide through in the next couple of hours, and that one's going to drive in a bit of that cooler air, and we'll feel it by tomorrow. 37 degrees in Florence at this moment, 31 in Antinagan, 30 in Ironwood, heading towards the eastern half, already topping out at 40 in Escanaba, 35 in Manistique and Munising. So these are just balmy readings, but those winds are just being a bit rough out there, especially coming out of the west at 33 miles per hour, sustained in Houghton, 26 in Iron Mountain, a bit more relaxed in Escanaba at 18 miles per hour. So those wind chills are running around 20 degrees. So make sure to stay warm and we'll eventually see a little bit of an issue when it comes to these winds as it will trigger a bit of that lake effect snow as we go into the nighttime hours and i'll talk about that in just a second so we will deal with a couple of those snow showers at least through wednesday now by tomorrow night the snow that is already received by then will become more associated with a low pressure that's going to make its way through parts of the Great Lakes. There's still a little bit of questions when they're debating about the storm. The only thing that's looking for sure right now is that it will be all snow throughout the UP. Still debatable about how much accumulations we could receive and even the timing of the storm if it will start on Wednesday night or Thursday and when will the heaviest be and when will it exit? Will it be on Friday? Thursday night or even as late as Saturday. Now, the only thing that will happen once that exits though, once the snow says goodbye, temperatures will eventually plummet as well, especially by the time we get towards Christmas day, we will struggle to hit 10 degrees and there is a chance for a little bit of snow as well. So we could be dealing with a white Christmas here throughout the UP on Monday. Now for the winter solstice two days away on Thursday, December 21st at 11, 28 AM. That is officially when winter is here throughout the northern hemisphere and when the sun will be over the tropic of capricorn and the, also the shortest day of the year winter weather advisories in the white in alger in houghton and keweenaw counties these are in effect until at least 3 a.m on wednesday accumulations one to three inches but it's going to be those winds that's going to be the real menace as we can see i have gusts up to 40 miles per hour really reducing that visibility so really make sure to be careful out there now for today though we have seen mostly dry conditions a couple of snowflakes here and there but we at least have seen the sunshine sneak out for almost everyone through bits and pieces throughout the day so when it comes to that jet stream it's been more of a zonal flow just to cool as temperatures towards the north warmest towards the south but not really anything extreme now by tomorrow we're going to be mostly dry but there is a new storm already beginning to ramp up in parts of the rockies and entering the northern plains that will eventually be at our doorstep by the time we get towards thursday and even into friday and could begin to back down by saturday but once that snow begins to say egg goodbye that's when the temperatures begin to fall so be mindful of that it's going to be rough traveling on Thursday and Friday because of the snow by Saturday and Sunday. It's because of the cold air. So it's pretty much a, a lose-lose situation. Tonight, though, 14 degrees, stray showers and blustery gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Wind chills near zero for tomorrow. We deal with that northwesterly wind still as we deal with the reinforcing second cold front. Temperatures only 23 degrees in Crystal Falls, 19 in Ontonagan and Houghton. And then those temperatures, they really begin to warm up a little bit on Thursday and Friday, but then begin to take that free fall into those single digits by Christmas Day.